Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Sister Rose Success, and I'm here with... Hello, everyone. My name is An Sister Anjanette Kekana, and welcome to the reading of Rhapsody of Realities, our daily devotional with our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Today is the 23rd of August, and our topic is Your Confessions Rule Your Life. Our scripture is from um, Psalm 91 verse 2 in the Amplified Classic Version, and it reads, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. On him I lean and rely, and in him I confidently trust. Wow, what a scripture. Sister Rose. Oh, hallelujah, Sister Anjanette. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. Wow. <laughs> I love this scripture. Um, Psalm 91 verse 2. On him I lean and rely, and in him I confidently trust. Hallelujah. Why? Because God's word never fails. You know, you find God in his word. Hallelujah. So God's word has integrity. It does not fail. God's word is dependable, is trustworthy, is reliable, you know, is efficacious enough. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, in Hebrews 4, um, verse 12, it says, God's word is powerful. It is quick. It is sharp. It is active. You know, it pierces through. So there's nothing hidden in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can relax and trust in him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> You know, um, Pastor has told us countless times that you cannot separate God from his word. Amen. Amen. So let's continue to read. Pastor says, oftentimes we think about certain things that happened to some very good people. And we say, if that could happen to so and so, what about me? That fellow was better than I am. Well, it's got nothing to do with who's better than who. It's got to do with your personal work with the Lord and your faith in his word. It's about your faith confessions. Bad things can happen to good people. Wow, who would have thought? There is Hallelujah. It's Amen. about your faith confessions. Amen. Wow. What you say is what you get. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, you know, we, we are taught that... Um, uh, we are kings and priests. So what you say is what you get. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. So, so pastor has been telling us that keep saying it. Don't, don't stop saying it. Mm. Talk it, you know, so you can talk your way up. You can say whatever that you want to say. Say it. Amen. Say it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, with the word of God, God has simply made us to be the prophets of our lives because we get to say, um, we can uh, say where we want to go. You know, we can prophesy our future. Amen. Amen. So pastor continues to say, ponder again on the anointed words of the psalmist that we read in our opening scripture. It was David's confession and it's got to become your confession as well. Every so often you say, the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. He's my God. On him I lean and rely and in him I confidently trust. Learn the power and value of thinking right and speaking right. If your speaking is wrong, if your thinking, sorry, if your thinking is wrong, it will reflect in your speaking. And if your words are wrong, things will go wrong in your life. Your confession regulates your life. The Bible says, thou art sneered with the words of thy mouth and thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. That is uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 2. Mm. Your confessions regulate your life. Hallelujah. Amen. So you just need to open your mouth. This mouth is not only for eating ice cream. Amen. Not for anything else a day. For talking. That is very important. Hallelujah. Amen. So you, you shouldn't be looking for, for Sangomas, any prophet to come and tell you that your, your next tomorrow and your future. Mm. You say you have, you know, you, you say what you, you, what you want to see. Hallelujah. Amen. So I remember um, in one of the pastor's messages, you know, he gave an example saying that when uh, you can have a garden and if you are not planting anything in that garden, something else will grow in it. Hallelujah. So, so it, even if you don't like that thing, but it will grow because you are not planting what you want. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's the same as facing a situation and then you keep quiet. 
You know, so devil, some, somebody else or, or, or devil himself will come and tell you. He will come and tell you. So, so it's either you take it or what, you know. So the, 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 what, we, what we need to do is to talk talk our, our, ourselves up, so talk, talk what you want to see, you know, come out of that situation through your mouth, hallelujah, and this is the mouth of meditation, pastor have been telling us that there's no any other life be, 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 be beyond this one, mm. so, so it's, it's meditation and meditation this month, and talk yourself, take yourself up in the name of Jesus. So, you know, while you're meditating, be meditating on the word of God, not on problems, amen. So let's continue reading. No wonder Psalm uh, 39 verse 1 admonishes that you guard what you say and speak only what's right. And it says, I will, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a brittle. That is, J uh, and, and then now James chapter 3 verse 2 says, for in many, for in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word the same is a perfect man and able to brittle and able also to brittle the whole body proverbs 15 verse 4 says a whole a wholesome tongue is a tree of life a wholesome tongue is a tree is a, sorry a wholesome tongue is one that speaks in line with the provisions of christ in his gospel do you want to live the, the awesome life, the transcendent life of ever-increasing glory that God has destined for you? Take the key is your confessions. Amen. Amen. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guilt. Amen. Amen. First Peter 3 verse 10. Refraining your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guilt means, means that you only speak in conformity with the word of God. Hallelujah, Praise Sister God. Anginette. A wholesome tongue, because we have a wholesome tongue, we got to speak our life up. We're going to speak Amen. life into our lives. We speak life into everything that concerns us. Hallelujah. Amen. We speak success. We're going to speak health. We speak health. We speak Riches, you know, peace, who speaks strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The key is the confession. Hallelujah. Amen. So can't you say the confession after me? The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. Even if I walk through the value of the shadow of death. Even if I walk through the value of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. I fear no evil. Because he's with me. Because he's with me. His rod and his staff, his rod and his staff, comfort me. Comfort me. He takes hold of my right hand. He takes hold of my right hand and says to me, and says to me, fear not. Fear not. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Therefore, therefore, I'm strong. I'm strong. In Him and in the power of His might. In Him and in the power of His might. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.